really good. Really good shows, big shows, good crowds, small crowds, sweaty crowds, big festivals. All in all, it's been it's been a good tour. Steve, så det var helt ondt. Nej, du kommer inte. Kolla på honom nu, du kommer inte. Nej, den här får man också. Den här är bara helt av. Vänta. Ser du inte att den där också? Nej, det här är inte. Det här är inte. Vänta, måste testa den. Jag kommer inte att testa den. Men det var det inte med en stil. Nej, var helt. Var det en annan grej då? <laughs> I think that you never get used to not sleeping. I think you get used to traveling, but you always need that sleep. You always need that sleep. You always need to catch up and re recharge before the next show. Um, I think it's always tough and you need once in a while to just have a break and have a breathe and just see what you actually have done. It's hard to appreciate 24 shows in a row. You need a break between maybe six, seven or eight shows just to appreciate the next run. First and foremost, it's just important to stop once in a while and just, you know, embrace what's what you've done and what you're about to do. I think it's important to just have a look have an insight of what's been good, what's been bad. I write these reports from every show. So by the end of every run, we report back to management and, and agents so they know what we think, how we feel, if it was good, if it was bad, what was bad about it, what was good about it. So then we can... Every year we try all these new promoters and try all these new clubs and then from every year we can kind of narrow it down to a few people that we actually still work with and then that also makes it easier for us to handle the other guys because then I know who I wouldn't put them with and I know which promoters to work with. Uh, you know what's gonna happen, right? Steve's gonna get here, they're gonna tell them that he can't turn up as loud as he wants and he's not gonna wanna play. It's not good. My name is Ben Krittner and I'm tour manager for Steve Angelo Sad Records. Well, you wake up to anywhere from 100 to 200 emails a day, phone calls, conference calls, the works. Um, besides that, it's, it's a lot of obviously the logistics and planning Steve's tour and not as much for SHM anymore because obviously now we have so many people in place. Um, my role is a lot more just taking care of the boys. Um, it's not as involved in terms of advancing the shows. For Steve and any size matter shows, we have to do everything from once we receive the contracts and the deal memo is contacting the promoter to obviously book all the flights and hotels. And after that, you start advancing all the technical and hospitality stuff for the show. And then after that, it's production, which is everything from the CO2, streamers, lasers, LED, confetti, all the fun stuff, pyro. Um, which depends on the city and the venue and where you are, but obviously, majority of the time, um, we can do pretty much full production shows for the boys now, which is great. But yeah, it can be you know either really easy and a few emails and phone calls and you get it done, or it's sometimes a pretty tedious process. Let's just go.
Grekland, Mykonos idag. Vackert, känner ni? Perfekt väder. Jag ändrade precis min ringsignal till en låt som promotorn i kan lyssnade på i bilen. Ring mig. Ring på min svejtiska. Vilken? Svejtiska. Plus 4-1. Det är 7 pm tomorrow, ja. Okej, okay, kolla nu. 7 pm är fast. Här har ni. Kom igen nu. I'm managing Wayne Woods and Q-Lines, uh, four really talented and hard-working guys from Sweden. I'm also Steve's right hand, you know, when it comes to the label and, um, you know, helping out with, you know, everything that needs to get done. Um, you know, Steve is a guy that always have 235 things going on for him and 945 things, you know, in the air. I've been traveling with Steve these past years and for him to bring me along to see the world and be a part of these unforgettable moments have been amazing. You know, we've been in places I never thought I'd ever see or be in and you know, for that I couldn't be more grateful. We have a lot of fun on the road and a lot of crazy stuff happens, you know, but at the same time we work. You know, we are on our phones and our laptops all the time and I think that's how it is when you love what you do. It's a part of your life and you don't even notice that you are working. Another one. Yeah. No. I don't go to that. No. No, 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 no. The one with the reclined seat though. I know. <laughs> no more. No, this left, the left, the left side. Yeah. Right. No, the left side. The other side. <laughs> What we do is, I confirm all the shows for all the guys, um, make sure that their visual aspect is taken care of, make sure that their flights are booked, make sure that they have itineraries, um, we make sure that they're in the studio, at the same time as we have to try and keep them healthy. And um, we're basically like a kindergarten. You know, we take care of all these kids <laughs> with these older teachers that try to tell them what to do and what not to do. And uh, I think by doing this for so many years on my own, I think that the experience that I have can easily make stuff easier for them so they don't have to redo the actual mistakes that I did when I was a young artist. They get the support, help that they need. And uh, we're just here to make sure that the only thing they have to do is music and DJ. Um, they shouldn't think about anything else. Uh, that's what my ideal management company would do to me, so that's what I do for them.
love concrete. I love concrete. It looks so hard. It is hard. Ha <laughs> ha 